think that's fair. And actually, you know, what you guys were talking about last week. So I've been thinking, what would I do in my next home? Like, you know, I mentioned to you guys in private that I was dreaming up a system. And then I started thinking, I don't know that I would want two channel of big speakers in the floor. Like, would I just go all in walls and have like a home theater, but like you don't even know it's there, you know, and then like in wall subs and stuff. So I started thinking about all the Atmos channels and all that stuff. Man, that's going to that's gonna get expensive quick. So what could I afford? Well, I guess I'd just go with mono price, you know, which isn't bad. But like the JBL synthesis stuff, I mean, I, I dig that. Revel stuff, Kef stuff, in walls are good. Yeah, but that's that's the pro. The synthesis stuff is very expensive. The Revel stuff you, is actually yeah. reasonably priced. Uh, well, compared to other things like the Focal, the Martin Logans, and even the synthesis stuff. But then on the lower end, you've got mono price. And to me, mono price is like, well, if you've got a certain budget, then that's probably almost a no-brainer, you know? Because so far, mono price has shown that they perform well, especially when you're talking about for the dollar. Exactly. Look, I got I got that same one right there, Chona. Little coaxial. Yeah, so, so, but you I know, want all um, in walls. Like that's I, so if, if I was going to go all out in a, in a living room, because you guys got to remember, like I'm going to be moving into a place that's not going to have a dedicated home theater anymore. It's going to be a smaller home. But I was thinking if I did that, I would. I think I'd prefer to go with all in walls. Or maybe still do the Kef blades up front and a Macintosh amp, but then have in walls for the surrounds. Like that would be kind of cool. Say, I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna have two systems. I think you're gonna have uh, like a home theater where maybe these monoliths, like in walls, are kind of like Ike has, right? Yeah, something like right. that. Something that you've measured yeah. that you know does well. And I think you'll have a two channel with the Macintosh. You, why not? I mean, I, I want it, yeah, dude. I want, I want them so bad. And I have asked if I can get accommodation pricing, but like, dude. It's still, still, like, still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's that's the thing. It's just like I, I don't know, man. Because a Macintosh, the the one that I want for Macintosh fans out there is the MC four six two. So it's like I don't know. Is it four fifty by two? And uh, it's retail is ten thousand. I saw it on Audio Gone for eight thousand used in North Carolina. I was like, hmm. And I was like, gosh, that's a big down payment on a house, especially when interest rates are seven percent. Oh, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's the stuff. That's the adult in me now. It's like, I'm going to have some extra money to finally build my dream system. But the adult in me knows better. Like, all right, dude, you need to put that down on the house. And maybe later you can afford those neat things. You know, not everything has to be logical and rational. Some things are just, I feel like it. It doesn't make any sense. It's no, it's totally wasteful. But whatever, it's just for me, you know? Not everything in life has to be that way. Yeah. I think I've earned uh, it at this point. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi. And you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. <laughs>